uh, uh, hey, look, I got a product cam over here. It's not very good, but it's here. Uh, but I'll give you an idea. Uh, so, so this is on iOS only, and which is unfortunate since I mostly read on the Android device right now. But I'm kind of getting back in the iPad side. Not that I can update my iPad. Um, but it, they added a motion comments kind of thing. And you can actually go in, and I pulled up a couple examples. Um, a lot of Captain America and Avengers stuff they have in here. So what they've added is... Um, a little bit of uh, multimedia to the comics. In, in, in this um, Captain America number eight from two, 2004, it looks like, if you go in and read it, one, it's nice. It'll actually give you a loading screen. Um, it didn't before. It's just white on your video, but it, you just kind of like wait around and hope the comic loaded. You had no idea if it was hung up or what, especially on uh, some of the older devices. So we'll give that a second there. Should have prepped this. Um, and then it will give you an option to download all the audio. And click that too. So you don't have to do this if there's a comic um, you know, that gives you the option. And obviously, I don't think they're going to do this on everything. I don't know what they've determined if they did this in the past for motion comics or something. But now, if I turn audio on, I can start reading this comic. And they also updated the smart panels, which if you're familiar with uh, Comixology, um, and I don't know why the audio isn't kicking in here. If you're, if you're familiar with Comixology, like, it's pretty good how it, like, actually moves panel to panel. It was not like this in previous versions of this. Um, so it, it, it's, it, it makes it a little more readable on the smaller iPhone screen. Um, and actually, it's... There was there were certain instances where it would cut off weird, and I wouldn't actually be able to read all the speech bubbles. And I don't know why it's not doing this, but you'll have background music. If you hear like a clang of the shield, like you'll actually hear a clang when you go to the mm -hmm. panel. Um, and, and as you go page to page, it will actually change the mood music and everything. So I don't know why it's kicking in here. But the other thing they have is, if you read recent uh, Marvel comics, Check there's your vibrate function. I, I turned it off. That's why I don't understand. Maybe turn it off and back on. But I don't know. maybe something that else loaded. Does it for me. Maybe it's the iOS update. But if you do a comic, uh, if you if you have the physical comic and you see the little AR logo, there's a uh, Marvel AR app you could pull up on your phone and pull it up, and it'll it'll bring in some multimedia elements uh, connected to the comic. Uh, I've always found these when I was going through Marvel Unlimited, but and I tried like grabbing another device, pulling up the AR app, and trying to take a picture of it. It never worked for me. Right now, uh, here I got an ep uh, issue of Avengers number one from uh, 2012, and right there and now if it has that kind of ar content as it loads it'll actually show you all the videos connected with that some of them will be uh flashback scenes which really look like kind of multimedia retellings you see a little video thing pops up at the bottom of the page so i'll hit the video and there's all the videos attached some of it is a uh, kind of making of stuff some of it is kind of motion comic -y flashback stuff and there's actually multimedia content that they've made for this specific issue so and Marvel's been really big. The, the garden characters, uh, were so actually, by, stuff from like the artists uh, you know, about conception the, and everything the, of the stuff. The, so the, I've tennis stuff. I've attended stuff at Comic Cons where Marvel is really big about we want to do these mo motion comics. We're trying to find new ways for people to get into comics um, through varying successes over the years. Like we've all seen those kind of Marvel Night series motion comic-y, uh, uh, or just take the art and make them move. Um, so it, it's kind of nice. I can't imagine always using that audio. Like, like I, can't, I can't imagine a regular basis where I want a comic with music to it, you know. Uh, but it's an interesting kind of uh, aspect that they're kind of trying here. So. I think they're doing it because of the movies. I mean, they, you know, people have now gotten used to hearing and, and watching these stories from the comics play out with all of the ambiance of an actual movie mm -hmm. uh, that when they go to read the comics, they're like, this is not as awesome. Whereas yeah. comics are awesome, but they just don't have music. So this is now Marvel trying to bridge the gap a little bit. They want to do, they want to make it more appealing than just like 
this printed piece of paper, I think. And right. they've been trying that for a long time. I think what's happened, though, is actually with digital comics, with uh, Comixology and now the Unlimited app, I think that's really opened it up. Because now I don't have to go into a coffee, or not a coffee shop, but a, a comics book shop um, and deal with that or find them. Because my always thing, my always problem was, my problem was always uh, finding the comics. Like you, I would have to go to a mall that was like, you know, 15 miles away and hopefully they would carry the book that I wanted at the, at the uh, Walden books, right? Oh um, my God, Walden books. <laughs> yeah, Walden books was my source. Before that, you just, you just you just hit my soul. I mean, we're talking about like my first introduction to comics. Well, my first, but my first introduction to like superhero comics and getting those on a regular basis, not the old like uh, Star He Man and other cartoons comics that I got when I was a younger kid. Um, that's a whole other discussion. Um, did you know Popples had a comic book? Anyways, uh, but I got the four books that they had at my grocery store, which was like yes. Uncanny X Men. One of the Superman books, Detective Comics, and Amazing Spider-Man, and that was it, right? You you were you have just tapped into what I loved about going to the grocery store on Sunday morning. Exactly. <laughs> um, my dad would just let me go. He wouldn't even stop me. He would just say, "All right, I know where you're going." Yeah. And I would just run immediately to like the periodical section, mm -hmm. and they would have all the magazines and everything like that. But then they had this one like round circle thing of comic books i ah, didn't even have that um, man i had four books there were, i had a choice of four books shout out to greenville pa yeah <laughs> uh, what's up greenville pa the bylo not even there anymore man not oh, even man. there RIP. RIP. Um, i was also stuck with a side note the, the wwf i never got wwf magazine from there but they would have the programs for like the royal rumble and that, that was it that hurts that hurts That's a lot awesome. That hurts a whole lot. Um, but now, like, you don't have those situations anymore. Or even, like, you know, I'm. if you don't see yourself as being a geek that goes into Midtown Comics if you live in New York City, you know, uh, it, it's now accessible. I don't have to, like, I have to make a trip to go get these books. You can go buy them or get a Netflix of comic books plan, like with this uh, Marvel Unlimited. I think that has been their digital play. and I And they were so iffy on it because i remember them talking about digital comics